Fab 34, probably the biggest single project that we've ever been involved in. We've had an involvement with Intel since 1989, but this project was different. Fab 34 is one of the most advanced uh, global uh, industrial facilities. This is the first time we've attempted to design and construct a two-module build that's two full fabs in, in one go. So from a, from a global scale, this is, this is totally unprecedented. We supply pedestals to Intel that going under their equipment in the fab. Fab 34 has been a, a step change for us. We have grown 50% in the three years to date. We manufacture fiberglass products for the chemical, pharmaceutical and the semiconductor businesses. To have Intel on your list is massive for us. For this project alone, I would say our, our, our turnover would, would have been tenfold. We manufacture low voltage switchgear. The value of that project to us was in excess of 50 million. You can understand what that does for a company like us. We probably put in excess of 2,000 pieces of switchgear on site. Now to handle that, we didn't have the space here. So we purchased a 20,000 square foot unit in Cherry Orchard. We were confident that working through the project, we would recoup those costs and it gave us the ability to expand. Uh, it's allowed us to increase our workforce from probably 200 staff when we started on the project to 300 staff now. 330 companies have worked on this project and of those 305 actually have a base here in Ireland. It, it benefited uh, a whole lot of uh, companies, not just ourselves, because we were dealing with such a large product, uh, a large uh, duct and there was so much work involved. We needed help from local suppliers for ourselves, so uh, it benefited a lot in the local uh, community. We, used, uh, we had to employ the, the local electrical contractors, the local waste management people, the local uh, machine shop fabricators, all that kind of stuff. So broadly and widely, you know, the, there was a lot of and companies locally to GP involved in helping us to deliver this product. Our subcontract CNC uh, milling uh, partners, they have expanded as well. They've brought on new equipment as well. Um, and then a myriad of smaller fabricators that have built components for us. Um, and then our, our sub suppliers in, in the powder coating, you know, that allowed, that had an impact over in Shannon as well. So it's not only in the local area, it's around the country that we've seen the impact of, of this project. I started my apprenticeship in March of 2021. Every day is different up here. Your eyes are open to different trades. You've just loads of stuff that you would not be exposed to on any normal building site. You'll never get anywhere else. Most of those suppliers, we believe, will have certainly a European impact. Many of them have entered into specific specifications that they can now supply globally to Intel. That's an amazing achievement for some of these suppliers. They are now globally recognised. It has set us up to be able to attack further markets. Both the pedestals and, and the interface plates have potential for export to other Intel facilities. Projects like Intel give you a kickstart for other projects and being involved with Intel is always a good recommendation. It has allowed us to see what we can do. It has allowed us to expand and fulfil our potential. From dealing with the project itself, we can see that we can do it. 